Well, Miss Wilson, hello. Yes, hello. How are you? Oh, damn. Um, Hi, how are you? How are you? What's going on? <laughs> what up, dog? So, my question is, yeah. does it really pertain to the concept of high-earning men who want children? What about high-earning men that don't want children? I don't understand. Okay, high so... Earning, high-earning yeah. men that don't want children? Well, high-earning men who already have children. You're speaking a lot about like high earning men who want to start families. So what about those high earning men that don't want to have children or high earning men that already have children? Well, 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 okay. First off, the ones that don't want to have children don't want yours. Okay. <laughs> they didn't want theirs. They ain't going to want yours. Okay. No, I'm talking about like they don't want children, period. Right. Or- if they didn't want theirs, they don't want yours. If I'm going to pay, for, if they're going to pay for somebody, they're going to pay for somebody that's a junior. It looks like them. They ain't going to pay for yours because there's no DNA in that. There's no asset in there. It's all liability, all expense. So if they didn't make their own babies, they ain't going to make a, They ain't going to take yours. OK, so what about the men who already have children who already? They already got theirs. They still don't want yours. They got to provide for their kids. But who's to say that? Are you asked. No, so no, now no. see, hold on. Stop. Don't... Stop. You already. I've answered your two questions. I get to ask a question. Y'all don't. Y'all don't just get to pepper me with questions. Okay. I apologize. Go ahead. Think about what I just said. If he doesn't want kids, he has. He could have had children, and it, then that means he don't want to pay for yours. And if a man already has kids, anything he's doing for his kids, if he got to do for yours, he's taking away from his kids. Correct. So what if he doesn't have to do for my children? Uh. Are your kids living at home? I have an eighteen-year-old who's in college. Uh-huh. And- so, are you trying to? So, are you trying to actually tell me that this child would never need anything? I'm sorry, uh, ma'am. Let's let's get to reality. Okay. Whether they live at home or not, he still will be a kid. There's still going to be some resources. Maybe not as much as in house. True. All right. That's Where's true. Where's their father? The father's in the same city. All right. Is he a high value man? Now he is. When we were married, he wasn't. Okay. So, again, we're back to this old dilemma. You want a high-value man older and later in life when you had a kid and babies by men who weren't. But I look at it like... Listen, listen, listen. Why do you ladies feel like you should be able to raise the price on yourself when you get older? It's not about raising the price. Yes, it is. How is it raising the price? All right. Let's do the simple market analysis. All right. When you were younger, what age did you get married? I got married at 26. 26. And how old are you now? 46. 46. Yeah. Yes. Your husband, when you were ma- at 26 years old, was earning how much? I don't know. Maybe 60,000. 60. And your ex-husband is earning about how much now? I mean, I'm not in his pockets now, but... But you said he's earning he's, more, so I'm assuming he, you know. You said he's high value. Business. He's doing well for himself. Yes. Well... But I mean... That's about give me a give me a number. I'm just going on what you said. I don't. I mean, I don't know. It's 18 years later. I'm not married to him. I'm not in his pocket. I asked you a question. I asked about high value. You said he's on his way. So what would make you think he's on his way there? I mean, I'm just, not asking you for an accounting or W two. Okay. Just give me a ballpark. I don't, a, I don't know, ninety thousand. Ninety thousand. So he was making maybe sixty when you married him, and thirty years later, a twenty, eighteen years later, he's making thirty thousand dollars more. All right. <laughs> And you guys divorced how long ago? Um, 2011. 2011, so nine years ago. And he was, was he 60,000, 70,000? How much was he making when you divorced? Around about that number, yes. Right. So why can you expect to get a man who's earning more than a man you made babies with at 26 who was making 60,000 when you're 18 years older? The price so, on idi- I, the price on items that get older with use drops, doesn't go up. Okay, so I would think what I married when I was twenty six and what I was looking for should be different at forty six now. That's twenty years later. I shouldn't be. My life has changed. My value. So what? What I brought to the table. So what? Like what? I asked the previous I, caller. Like I, I asked the previous caller. Name okay. me a product on the market that whose price goes up. With time and use. Okay, I, I'm not saying I know what goes up with time and use, but I guess because nothing does. But what I'm saying is, why would that's just like a person's income? If you started a job 20 years later, you shouldn't be making what you're making when you started. 
Like there no, should- but I but but I've earned every year that I was there, and they got benefit of my labor, and I got benefit of the work Absolutely. experience. Absolutely. Someone meeting you has had benefit of none of your use. So you're okay. trying to ask for the highest price, and they've got no benefit. It still works. Okay. So are you saying that people should not date where they're compatible with one another? You're compatible not on income. You're compatible on your uh, overall. What, uh, listen, what do men value and what do men want and women? We, they're not. We know they want the looks. We want the image. They want, you know, all that that's stuff. That's what we pick. So yeah. and, and that's where and that's what you you and that's OK. And just like men date upon their resources and their ability to provide. A man who cannot provide and cannot have, have resources cannot date a supermodel. Sure. No, I agree. I was just so. Oh, so, again, back to the market. Okay. Older, more use, and mm-hmm. you want because you feel as though your value is increased and you're marking your value as in your socioeconomic status. Well, no, I guess I'm looking at the people who I'm around. So, my colleagues, the people I work around, my friends' husbands, my brother-in-law, my father. I mean, all of them are high-earning men. So Okay, but that's not... I'm talking about you. Yes. Okay, ma'am, on the market. Do you think, in general, mm-hmm. a woman's value should increase as she ages? Mm-hmm. I think it depends on how she takes care of No, her. ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. That's a real simple question. I Should mean, a I, woman's value increase with age? I don't feel like it decreases. I definitely feel like it okay. depends. All right. Yeah. Well, guess what? Good thing you're, but again, you're not the consumer. We are. And that's completely ridiculous. That okay. is completely, absolutely ridiculous. And when asked a logical, simple question, you, you ladies are just being delusional. You're telling me that a woman should be able to command the, uh, the same or a higher price at 25, at 45 than she did at 25. In now, I freaking like same. The person who is doing the consuming wants like children or certain things like that. Absolutely not. Well, men, men who are doing the consuming. All right, then let's go there. The okay. men who are doing the consuming, the high value men, they don't go pick older baby mamas. Okay. They pick well, younger women. A woman who's never been married. So I'm not referring to those women. I'm, t- I'm t- Okay. Doesn't matter whether you've been married or not. You, at the end of the day, ma'am, you ladies have a disagreement with reality. Okay, and the reality you're saying is it's not. It's not the reality that I'm saying. The reality that you live is what what product on the market increases in value as it ages and is used. I don't have an answer for that. Nothing. So a woman on the market has a value. And as she ages and with use, her goes down. I okay. ask you, as a woman ages, should her value increase? Well, it depends on how she keeps herself up. And I don't, I, give, I don't I, care how she keeps herself up, ma'am. 40 is different than 20. Oh, absolutely. I know that. I've been 20 and I'm 40. So, so why is it so hard for you guys just to, to use I, that kind I, of logic no. when you look in the mirror and say, you know what? I, I'm average and I should get an average man because I'm 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 not the hot little thing I was at 20 some odd years old. And I can't ask what I asked for back before I had kids and before stretch marks, say like in uh, moles. OK, so, no, I get the whole concept of 20 is different than 40. I get it. It's common sense. But the thing that I'm looking at is when you kept speaking about children and I was just kind of triggering on to that point where you kept saying, OK, well, men are going to want a woman who could give them children. I just wanted to know what was your perspective of maybe the- always OK, man, we, we, we've had many different conversations. You asked me about what about a man who doesn't have kids? Or what about a man who doesn't want kids? Look, I'm a pretty good listener, man. Do you have children? I do. I said I have an 18 year old in college. All right. Good. And are you on the dating market? Not really. Okay. Why does this matter to you? Oh, I have a lot of girlfriends and, you know, I have like a woman's group and I'm doing like. Okay. And uh, and are they looking for a high value men? They are looking for a high value men. Yes. Are they high value women from from what men value? 
some of them are, some of them aren't. Well, then if they're not high value men from what men value, why are they looking for high value men? And I think that they feel like dating- You can feel like whatever you want. Either you, okay, can, well, get, you can feel like whatever you want. Well, what they've The market decides. Is, what I've explained, they've explained to me is dating men, like maybe let's say if I have a girlfriend who makes 300,000, then let's say she's average looking, but she's dating a guy who's maybe making 50,000. That kind of causes conflict. Their lifestyles. Yeah, I know. I, I, I consult with these women all the time. And here's, right. what, so she, and here's the problem. Here's the problem. I, and I get it. And there's no and there's no resolution to this problem. Okay. I get it. And there's no resolution to it. You okay. want to hear the truth? I've had What's to tell it? three people this in the last two weeks. Okay. You waited too long. Your value's too high. Mm. You're going to die alone. People have paid me to tell them this. And I'm telling you, look, because when it came right down to it, these women would say, I really could not be okay with him. I'm making 300, he's making 50 because the mortgage, I'd have to pay right. 75 to 80% of the mortgage. All right, well, if that's the case, I cannot make the world be more be more full of four or $500,000 men who would accept you. Mm -hmm. The number, The men are what they are and you waited too long. I'm going to do a broadcast next week talking about how feminism was tied into the woman's movement and how an editor for Cosmopolitan has had to finally come forward and admit that the thing she did destroyed an entire generation of women by postponing marriage, wow. okay. by free sex. I yeah. don't. And the problem is I feel sorry for women, sisters in particular, because we were you were lied to. Yeah. But we are where we are. And if you got a $300,000 friend and mm -hmm. the average black man is earning $42,000 mm -hmm. with no kids, I can't make more black men be up there with your friend. And if she wants a man who's up there with her, he's going to want what he wants regardless as to what she earns. Mm -hmm. And if she does not look like what he wants or is going to have the mentality of the assets, just like she's not going to settle, he isn't either. And that's okay. what hasn't been told to women. Okay. The men that they want are not going to settle for them. Mm. And so what your recommendation would be like for my girlfriends in that category would be... Buy a dog, die alone. <laughs> what else can well, I say, man? I'm well, so, I'm, I, mean, I know well, I'm supposed to say something happy right now. I know I'm supposed to say something jovial, but how old are we talking? 35, 40 plus? Yeah, they're in their 40s. All right, ma'am. I can't make more $300,000 single available heterosexual men. I can't. You And they can't go out and they can't date Bradley, Ahmed, Keith, and Enrique. I mean, they can't. Those those guys over there are not in mass and don't want them like that. And the women over there in those other races aren't going to let their high value men go without a fight. Gotcha. So this whole notion of black women going over to the white men and getting high value, you, you'll have sex with you, but you do not see high value men marrying out we tend to get very very uh race conscious the higher up we go the right. bottom line ma'am is have you ever had spoiled milk nice. have you ever have you ever drank some milk or put some milk on some cereal and oh. it was spoiled yes you know what happens think about the last time you drank some spoiled milk then you get this sharp taste in your mouth and you kind of spit it out it was nasty absolutely exactly but the only way you knew it was spoiled is you tasted it. Correct. You can look at the date, but look, their opportunities have spoiled. And this is what they're doing. They're rejecting mm -hmm. the opportunities. But the reality is I can't make unspoiled milk. I can't reverse time. I got you. I'm not Dr. Strange. I'm not Thanos. They so waited too long. And to settle. It's not settled because here's the thing. Let me let me go fill on the other side. Here's also what's not going to happen. They're not going to go get a man who is happy with who he is. And just because he does not earn what she earns, that she's going to sit around and beat the shit out of him because he's her second or third choice or better what she can get. See, what it really is, ma'am, is your friends need to line up their expectations with their sexual marketplace value, not their income or their education. Okay. And if they can do that, then they can honestly and really accept it. Then being average, they would be all right with an average man. Why is it that white women, Hispanic women, Asian women, Middle Eastern women can out earn their husbands and not feel like they're settling with a plumber or something like that? I have a woman on my channel who 
graduate is a doctor of four children, 135 pounds, went to the Mayo Clinic, makes four or five times what her husband makes as a as a software engineer or something mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. And she's the breadwinner. Yeah. But black women, they'll beat in general. Our culture is that women will punish men for earning less. Why? So men are saying, I ain't going to go let you abuse me because you couldn't get an attorney, a doctor or whatever. I'd rather watch football and dial on myself. Right. And I feel like a lot of other women down women saying, OK, well, you've worked hard. You've gone to school. You've gotten this level of education and this salary. So it's a form of settling dating someone that's. Well, I'm telling you right now, women do that because that's a that's a form of dirty macking. Okay. Because if they could get a hold of the dude they're telling you to get away from, I guarantee you they get on him because they don't want to die alone. Okay. okay. That's what I could do for. All right. But Thank you know you. what I'm saying? It's not easy to hear, but it's the truth. I mean, I know it's true. I guess I'm just like it's challenging um, for the women who, and I guess you know I have a daughter, like I said, and so it's funny she hears some of this sometimes, and you, I'm you like, "You say you have a daughter." I do. I have a six. Then what do you tell? And then that what? Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm it up that's why right. I said talk to the younger. See, here's the thing: I would ask your friends. Yeah. Talk to the younger you. Talk to the current you. Then talk to the future you. If they could talk to the younger them, they know they would tell them something different. Oh, I would do it totally different if I could talk right. to the young. And there so I talk harder about it because I I listened to the um show yesterday, and I do feel like a lot of times people emphasize going to school, get an education, make money. But we don't focus on the other things. And so I look at my girlfriends who focus on getting their education, getting jobs. And then now they're in their 40s, never been married, no children. Well, and, and it's hey, like, it's late that's for them. What made this video go viral. It was the dying alone part because it stung because a lot of these women realize that one, they have no relationship skills. Sure. So even if they did find a decent dude, they don't know how to be around a man other than in a bedroom. True. That's true. The, the, but here's the thing. For the women who were on the fence, my mother decided to put all this bullshit down and she settled. And mm -hmm. her settling was the best thing she ever did because she's lived better the last 24 years than the first 50. She wow. married the most unlikely man I could have ever thought of and she has never been happier. And I'm ecstatic for my mother because she picked the wrong guys all the time, including my including my dad. Mm, okay. <laughs> but we didn't own a home. We rented all the time. She got a anyway, shit. If my mama can win, well, my mama got off that bull crap. But at what age did she find 50. this? Fifty. So then there's still hope for my girlfriends in uh, the Oh <laughs> but her two sisters, one died alone and the other one's on the way. So and, her, and the cousin, most of the women in my family died alone. So there's hope. there's hope. But here's the other thing. My mother was a beautiful woman. has always had men available. If you're an average looking woman and overweight, that wasn't my mama. Mm. Okay. So that's not make it seem there's hope. There's hope. The best thing that you can do is either you're going to learn how to work. See, the problem is your friends don't sound like that they can sit across from a man who's not as educated, earning any money, and not be an absolute condescending witch. I mean, to this yeah, dude. that's true. I had a girlfriend who specifically was like, they went out on a date. She went out on a date, and the guy, uh, when they were ordering food, mm -hmm. he was saying um, entries. He didn't know it was entrees. Mm -hmm. That I can't, just because he didn't know how to pronounce the word. Trust me, I work with women like this <laughs> behind the scenes. Yeah. And I've helped some of them get themselves together. Okay. Uh, and this is the kind of conversation that's needed. Yeah. Because the stuff your friends are valuing, yeah. Don't give you an insulin shot or pick you or come or come uh help you get up off the toilet when your knee go out. Mm. Okay. So people get upset with me and think um, but I know I know of what I speak. I gotta get on to some more folks. Okay. Folks. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. it. Right then. She came in with the Barry White. My darling, I can't get enough of your love, babe. Ashley, do you have a disagreement? It's not